the history of evolution and survival of any form of life is based on being adaptive, being able to adapt, especially changes to the external environment. That's why these days there, there's so many changes on an ongoing basis, either very large or, or small, that means we have to know how to adapt our organizations to succeed in an ever-changing external environment. The age of uncertainty is because that's the world we now live in. We just don't know what the world would look like, never mind five years from now. So we talk about the digital age, the, the knowledge era, but underpinning it all is the fact that we live in an age of uncertainty. There's no certainties about what the future will look like. Three components to adaptive strategy management in the age of uncertainty. Adaptive means we've got to be able to adapt strategies during the life cycle, if you will, of the strategic plan. They could be quite significant transformations or they could be quite minor tweaks. For most organizations, it will be the latter that will be most regular. Understanding that to be adaptive with strategy, you need to also be adaptive in the organizational structures, the processes, the procedures, culture, et cetera, et cetera. So the whole ecosystem, if you will, of an organization has to develop new capabilities. But we need to understand that we have to stop seeing strategy management as being a sequential process. You formulate you execute, and then once a year, you might do a strategic review. We need to think about execution while we're developing the plan and involve those that will execute. Senior people in the organizations who will lead the execution have to be involved in the formulation. And the plan for execution must be built into the strategic plan. The third component is learning. Strategic learning has to be ongoing, big data analytics, constant monitoring of the external environment, adjusting the internal environment to adapt. And learning needs to be not just something we do when we formulate the strategy and at intervals, but an ongoing capability within the organization. In fact, I'm, I'm starting to move away from thinking about fixed strategic plans to more of a rolling strategic planning approach where you know we we can have goals over say a five-year period but we can have a bit like financial rolling financial forecasts we can update on a regular basis we don't need to start one strategy and then finish it and then start 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 a new strategy the third component is the age of uncertainty because that's the world we now live in. And we know we're living in a land of a Walt Disney film. If we think we can predict uh, the future with any great de degree of accuracy, we need to understand that the world doesn't work that, that way anymore. Humans like to think that we can accurately predict what's going to happen. We cannot. And I think the whole approach to strategic planning has to evolve to not being fixed just on doing the plan, but on managing the whole strategy process from formulation through to learning and seeing that as holistic and integrated. I'm not sure whether the term strategic planning is still accurate it's basically constant it's not a, a department where we plan the strategy and hand it over to the company to do as is it's more about managing the, the process of which the plan 
a part of. There's no saying in the military, no plan ever survives first contact with the enemy. I think we have to sort of adapt that sort of mindset, is that whatever plans we have uh, are going to be challenged, are going to be disrupted by what's going on externally. You know, it's always having that adaptability, that capability to change the way you are implementing the strategy on an ongoing basis. So I think that, in a nutshell, our whole approach to strategic planning will now be challenged and will now have to change to reflect the world in which we now live in.